Hello again. I want to start by thanking everyone in our community who's provided support and ideas and is working so very hard to help realize the vision of a newly innovated Lesley University. We're well on our way into what we believe will be a new model for small private universities like ours. One that not only can weather the economic pressures of today and thrive into the future, but one that at every turn has focus on one goal, what is best for the education and experience of our students. And while we have more work to do in the months ahead, I'm pleased to report that for the first time since 2020, our registrations for spring semester have increased. They're up by more than 5%. Given the trends at colleges nationwide, this is something to celebrate. In my video last month, we talked about the five strategic areas of focus. These are academics, partnerships, lifelong support, university structure, and campus plan. So let's dive deeper into a few of these areas. We'll start with academic focus. And here's our interim provost, Diana Yamin. Thank you, Janet. The focus of our academic work has really been to look at the core of our programs and allow our students to also focus in a secondary area. Let me give you an example. In our education area, a student could not only get their degree there, but they could take a secondary look at, for example, mental health and well-being. And as you can well imagine, that would help any teacher. Or they might decide to choose art to bring more creativity to their work. So that our president, our academic council, our associate provosts, our department chairs, and our faculty have been working hard to make sure that everything we do stays to the standards of humanistic education here at Leslie. So I'd like to thank all of them, as well as the staff that we work with, to make sure not only the educational changes happen, but that it works in our system seamlessly for our students. For a bit more insight, I'm joined by our colleague, Brian Becker, the Associate Provost of Mental Health and Wellbeing. Thanks for being here, Brian. Thank you, Dan. It's great to be here. Can you tell us a little bit about the programs that you've been working on um, and, and what's exciting, what's different about them? Sure, I'm happy to. Leslie University has often prided itself on offering an undergraduate psychology program that goes beyond the standard degree you might get at most other universities. And the redesign that I'm helping to lead is aiming at ensuring that the distinctive and unique program and educational experience of students will mirror their own uniqueness. The changes we're implementing is to more fully blend our applied experiential and alternative approaches to mental health and wellness into our psychology program so that every student who leaves Les University will now have that distinctive educational experience. Thanks, Brian. Can you tell us about the benefits of all this change for our students? Sure, I'm happy to. The redesign that we're currently implementing is going to increase flexibility in the student's ability to become the architects of their own educational experience. Currently, there are limitations in how students can shape their program, but through this redesign, students are going to be able to mix and match aspects of their program, shaping it in a direction aligned with their professional goals and aspirations. Thanks, Brian. And if I could bother you with one more question, what motivates you? What brings you to this work? Well, one of the things I'm really excited about is that through this curriculum redesign, we're going to be implementing more inclusivity and social justice into the curriculum by, for example, including and requiring cross-cultural psychology, multicultural psychology. This way, all students will not only get this broad education psychology, but they'll be informed about the diverse and unique ways in which psychology expresses itself throughout the world, and they'll leave Lesley University with that kind of education. Thanks, Brian. In future videos, we'll focus on other key areas of the institution and our curriculum redesign. You'll see many of these changes reflected in the fall schedule as you look toward registration. Back to you, Janet. Thank you, Deanna. It's not easy to reimagine an academic structure, 
one that will help our students be successful in today's world. I want to personally thank our academic council, chairs, and department faculty for all their efforts to date and in the months ahead. Now let's take a moment to update you on the campus plan. It's been a major undertaking. And here is Leslie's Chief Operating Officer, Joanne Kasuth. The whole point of the campus plan is to enhance the student experience and to have the students be able to experience all three of our campuses in a manner that really showcases what Leslie is about in our mission and provides them with the spaces to be able to gather, come together and build their community. The reality of the campus plan right now is it's pretty messy. So on the South Campus with the Reed and Burnham building, which is one of our iconic buildings, we're making great progress. That building will eventually be fully accessible, which is an important piece of the campus plan to increase the accessibility. The building will also have student services, so sort of a mini version of the support hub. It'll also have an iconic conference room, really leveraging the beautiful trusses and the woodwork of the original building that'll be available for use. And the spaces will actually turn into student available spaces in the evenings. The Leslie To Go Market, as you'll see in the video, is a standout. What we're providing is 24 seven access to a variety of foods. When you walk up, you have a credit card or you have your cash links or you have your dining dollars. And you get scanned when you walk into the store and you can select the items you'd like and then just walk out. So you walk in and you walk out, very simple. Thank you, Joanne, for that update. A warm round of thanks to all members of the operations team who are modernizing our Lesley University home, and to all of you who are affected by the construction that will allow us to build this future. Before we go, a note about our strategic focus on partnerships and lifelong support. This month, we combine them, launching the Threshold Scholars at Threshold Lifelong Support. These scholars, who can come from any of our education, mental health, and social work graduate programs, will receive additional financial and cohort support and work with our new Lifelong Support Program, being trained to provide our neurodiverse adult participants, who already number 19, with living, career, and social and community support. And on the university structure front, over the past several weeks, I've been asked about the impact on our students of the government's delay in releasing details of financial aid for fall 2024 through the federal FAFSA system. At Leslie, we've been proactive. Once we learned about the delay, we increased merit awards, made deposits refundable, and extended the deadline for our students to apply. Students who deposit will have priority in orientation, housing, and class registration. But this plan will allow for students and their families to move forward despite the delays in the FAFSA process. For those of you who are on spring break next week, please enjoy. Take the time to relax and rejuvenate. Spring is in the air. And soon we'll all be spending more time outside, enjoying all our home city of Cambridge has to offer.